Welcome to Studio Lighting Techniques in Maxwell Render. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. Welcome back to part 8. In this video I'll look at the effect of using a different type of emitter to illuminate my scene. This is the setup as I've got it at the moment. On the left I've got an emitter, at the top I've got a reflector, and at the right I've got another emitter. And the way these emitters are working at the moment is they're just producing white light, pure white light. And in the real world, lights usually aren't pure white. They're usually calibrated to a temperature. And Maxwell Render is capable of simulating this effect and getting a slightly more realistic result. So that the lights themselves are not pure white, but do in fact give off a slight colour tinge. So I'm going to make sure that my fire engine is on, and then I'm going to double click my emitter material to bring up the material editor. And then with my emitter layer selected, what I have to do is change the type from custom down to temperature. And you can see that all of the options disappear and I get a new option that says emission. And the default is 6500 Kelvin. Now at the moment this material is going to be applied to both my left and right emitters. And if I drag this slider to the left, the Kelvin value drops and the lights become slightly orange. If I drag it to the right, the Kelvin value rises and the lights become slightly blue. You'll also notice that the intensity of the light changes. The higher the Kelvin value and the bluer the light, and the brighter they seem. But the lower the Kelvin value and the more orange the light, the darker they seem. I'll come back to this point later. At the moment, the material is applied to both the left and right emitters. But what I'd like is for the two different emitters to have two different materials applied. So I'm going to right click on the emitter and clone it. And then drag the new clone onto the right. So now I can make one side blue and the other side orange. I'll just adjust slightly. I'll go to my close-up view so we can see the effect on the subject. And also I can turn off my diffuse knot and turn on the reflective knot to see what the effect would be like on reflective surfaces. And also I can use my diffuse and reflective primitives to see the effect that would be on different surfaces. Using this lighting technique can be more realistic than simply using a white emitter because of the subtle colour introduced into the light. However, when strongly contrasting values are used to enhance the effect of the colour, the difference in intensity of the emitters becomes more apparent and can lead to results which have too much contrast because they are overexposed in some areas and underexposed in others. In the next video, I'll show how to get around this drawback. For more information about support, consultation and mentoring in CAD and Maxwell Render at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.